folks, how you doing? Well, here I am again. Um, the weekend is finally here. I say that today because I don't usually think of the weekend as a time to, you know, finally kick back and relax. And, but this week has been tense, I guess. I guess it was the stress leading up to the, uh, the test, the exam, on Thursday. And then they wind down when we all got back together today in class and discussed the test, the exam yesterday. The opinions of various people. Goings on during the exam. a little strange. We're a group of people who are all, we all have, this is a post-doctorate, post-doctorate, this is a post-degree program. So we all have at least a BA. Um, now we've been together in class five days a week, every afternoon, for a few months, since the beginning of September. We know each other. We like each other. We're between the ages of 25 and 65. And we're all in it for the same reason. Quiet, I'm talking. We want to be teachers. Um, there's no real point in cheating. There's no real need to get high marks. Basically, we all need to pass and get the most out of the teaching here in this course. So it's to our benefit to absorb the knowledge, to get the knowledge. Cheating would be there's no real way to teach. There's no real way to cheat. Um, I don't understand how we would cheat. Anyway, at the college, there is a big uh, push to explain plagiarism and cheating to the students and to frown on it, of course. But people teaching us have explained to us that you know, marks are not the point and I don't we're just all baffled by these people who have been explaining to us how atmosphere and reducing stress in the class and reducing anxiety in the class and on and on and on are the same people who moved the tables around and adjusted the chairs so that nobody would be able to glance over at the neighbor, their neighbor, to cheat on their paper. These people suddenly don't seem to understand that in a three hour possible exam, someone who is, you know, over the age of 40 might need to go to the washroom. <laughs> we have one uh, teacher who teaches a separate pronunciation class. We had an exam with her a couple of weeks ago, and we were told that if we needed to de-stress, we could go out of the room and walk around and come back, get a coffee. We could go to the washroom. Anything. <laughs> Anything at all. It was allowed. These people. <laughs> Despite the fact that they've been teaching this kind of stuff to us for you know, two months now, over two months, don't seem to want to practice what they teach. 
we're flabbergasted to say the least so that's where i am uh, right now anyway i am glad the exam is over i think i did just fine um can't wait to see the mark and uh, that's about it this weekend there's absolutely nothing due nothing to think about nothing to study I believe I have a reading for Monday. What are you doing, Ty? Uh, I think I have a reading to do for Monday. I don't know. I'll look at it later. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the weekend. I hope you all do the same.